Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Today we will discuss about partitioning and bucketing in Hive and what are the main differences. And uh, when coming to the both partitioning and bucketing, right, these two are the techniques used for organizing and optimizing data stories and uh, query performance. And although they serve very similar purpose, right, they have distinct characteristics and uh, use cases. Today, let's, we will discuss about uh, these differences. Partitioning means uh, it's the partition of the data, so which involves dividing a table into multiple smaller subdirectories or partitions based on one or more columns. Each partition represents a subset of the data which shares a common value in the partition columns. Okay, so it is basically dividing the data means, for example, if you have one very big content in a single place, it's very difficult to search anything, right? So what are we doing? We are dividing that content, in, content into smaller chunks, which is nothing but smaller partition so that we can search very easily. We are giving some index to that, saying partition name so that the search will be faster. This is what is partitioning. So why do we need the partitioning here is? Partitioning is primarily used for data organization and uh, enabling efficient data pruning and uh, query optimization. And also we have seen like uh, it can significantly improve the query performance when querying a specific partition or when filtering data based on partition columns. So where we use this mostly is where partitioning is suitable when uh, a table has a large amount of data and uh, we need to query often um, which involves filtering or aggregation of the data based on specific criteria. So how can we create a partition table is this is the syntax create table my table which has two or more columns you can just give any number of columns you want and and partition by is the class we have to use this is the keyword and on what all columns you want to partition give that columns here if you notice the columns that you are mentioning in the partition those will not be available here in the original column names which you are giving in the my table okay so this is uh, this is the syntax how we can create a partition table okay so here when you create a table like this right so each partition by date country right these will be uh, stored as separate subdirectory within the tables data directory in hdfs okay so now let's see what is bucketing. Bucketing uh, we also call it as clustering. It involves dividing a data into a fixed number of equal sized buckets based on the values of one or more columns. So each bucket contains a subset of data distributed uniformly based on a hash function applied to the bucketing columns. So already we have partition then why do we need bucketing? So, bucketing is uh, primarily used for improving data join operations and query performance. So, it provides a way to distribute data evenly across multiple files allowing for efficient parallel processing and uh, um, it reduces the amount of data shuffle during the joins. So, when you have frequent joins or you are doing some sampling of the operations on the Hive table, uh, and uh, especially when the table is very large and join keys are commonly used, right? So in such cases, we use bucketing. So in the same, like within the partitions are kind of directories in the uh, HDFS. Inside the directories, when you say you are creating the bucket, it creates the files, individual files. So that, and let's say if you are making it to 10 buckets, then 10 files will be created based on the column 1 here. This is the sample syntax that is being used, okay? So, how to create a bucketed table is create table, my table and give whatever columns you want. 
pick one column out of that using clustered by pick that column so in the partition table what we have seen is the the column that is used uh, in the partition by clause should not be present in the column list that is in, that we are giving in the first line right you i hope you remember here okay date and country are not present in the uh, here whatever is the table columns but this column one is present in this okay you, ju you just have to consider this while creating the bucketed table and into 10 buckets so we can mention any number of buckets based on the data okay for example if you have uh, you have a data set with some country different countries and uh, inside the countries again you have different cities let's say okay so then you can go for partition by country and uh, uh, bucketed by uh, this one okay cities in most of the cases right even uh, for example if even in that case you have larger data uh, then again go ahead with uh, partitions only or for example for a particular date if you take hourly information is available let's say then you take the date as a partition and hourly information right that into buckets so that you will have smaller information so that you can when you are performing the joins or uh, which involves uh, large queries right then your searches will be faster okay this is the introduction about uh, partitioning and bucketing okay so now uh, before going ahead i have some sample code just to see right uh, how to create a partition table and uh, how to add the data and what is uh, the how we can query the table so friends here if you see create table and here you have this transactions partition is the table name and it has these columns transaction id and customer id okay then amount and then partition by transaction date everyday transactions we have to make it partition so that whenever we wanted to see a, a particular transaction date details then we can have very quicker query search okay because of that reason here we have partitioned by transaction date now how to load into the partitions here we can use insert into table this table name okay this table name here usually in the production we use uh, database name dot table name then partition whatever is the partition name here right same partition you enter the date and then from the source table you can do select this is one way you can do this is one of the ways okay if you have the data present in some other table and you wanted to get some you have to you wanted to insert the data based on some date partition then you can use this query to load into this table based on the partition so this is for first and this is for second july and this is for third june this way you can load the data partition wise data into a table okay now how to query the table select whatever columns you want from this transaction partition table where transaction date equal to any date you want so this way what will happen is when you are querying for a particular transaction date which is a particular partition it, the, when it is executing the compiler will not scan each and every record to find the details which are for transaction date for the given second July. So what it does, it directly goes to the partition date, partition of the transaction date which is second July and it will fetch the required detail and it will return. This way the searches will be faster. Okay. Next, let's see some example of bucketing. So how to create a bucketed table? here create table transactions underscore bucketed here let's say there are three columns in the table and we are making that bucketed by customer id into 10 buckets because each customer has done how many transactions right in a transaction this is the transactions table so we our driving factor is how many transactions made by the customer or we can even further dig into day wise also but here we are checking that for each customer how many transactions we have done kind of right so here i have considered customer id as the 
bucketed column into 10 buckets. So why 10 here? It, it, it's not like 10 always, okay? You have to go through the input file or input data and see how can you optimize when you are performing any joins or perf when you are doing some wear conditions, when you are applying some wear conditions, okay? And then uh, similarly, here first we are creating the uh, uh, table and then we are inserting into this particular table. Uh, just uh, you just have to um, select from this particular table so that we are we have already created the buckets. The data will be inserted into the respective buckets. Okay. Now coming back to this, how to query a bucketed table, right? Select whatever is the required columns from bucketed table where customer ID equal to whatever it is. So when you are querying any table, just make sure that are there any partitions or buckets are already present on that table. Use that in your where class so that the searches will be faster. Clear? So these, these are the sample queries to create the bucketed table or partitions table and how to load and how to query it. Okay. We have seen partitioning and bucketing, how to load the data and how to query. Now, let's see when to use which one. Okay. So, uh, like, like let's say you have a table but you are not sure how to choose between whether you, you wanted to just do the partition or you wanted to further more to do bucketing or only bucketing also you can do, okay? It's not necessary that only partition and then only you have to do bucketing. So, when we have to use the partition is, uh, let's say uh, when you are frequently filtering or performing any aggregated uh, uh, data operation uh, based on some specific criteria, like uh, you are filtering based on a date or country or category, Okay, in that case and uh, if, if the table has large amount of data and you wanted to improve the query performance by pruning unnecessary partitions. In such case, we use this partition so that whatever in the where condition you are giving the partition, the compiler directly goes there, fetch the required details so that the other remaining partitions will be neglected. Okay, and next thing is... Um, the partition column has high cardinality means there are many distinct values resulting in relatively even data distribution across the partitions. So whenever there are even data distribution across the partitions, you always uh, prefer to do partition because that way data skew will be lesser and you will have your query performance will be much faster. It's very, very, very nice performance you get when you query on such kind of uh, equally distributed data partitions. Okay, and also you want to efficiently load uh, the data into specific partitions uh, without rewriting the entire data set. In such kind of cases also, we use this partition. Okay, partitioning in Hive. Next is uh, when we use uh, bucketing is uh, when you frequently perform join operations and the join keys are commonly used for any data merging kind of thing, then we use bucketing. And also if the table is large and you wanted to optimize join performance by reducing data shuffling and improving the parallel processing, right? That kind of situation also we introduce bucketing to the hive table. And also uh, if the whatever column that we have, we are using for the bucketing, right? So that column has moderate cardinality, means not much distinct values. And um, uh, so for providing a proper distribution of the data across the buckets, right? Using for that purpose also, we can use this bucketing. So mainly when you have more of joins or if you wanted to evenly distribute the data into fixed number of buckets for sampling or parallel processing, then we use this bucketing. So uh, up this, is, this is when uh, we see that when to use partitioning and when to use bucketing. Now, um, like we have seen what, uh, like main, these two are mainly for uh, data, uh, like uh, performing, uh, query performing, improving the performance and, uh, uh, right, that is the main data organization purpose, we use this. So, 
uh, where exactly uh, this execution will happen right the storage is like for both partitioning and uh, bucketing um, this storage uh, um, will happen uh, based on like first when coming to the partitioning right uh, it is uh, it's stored as separately as subdirectory okay and uh, when the table is uh, having a data data directory on the disk but during the query execution uh, when a query specifies a partition filter, uh, that time Hive's uh, query optimizer has this partition pr pruning, right? It implicates that and uh, uh, it does. Actually, what is partition pruning means? It's a technique that analyzes the query, predicates or determines which partition contains the relevant data for whatever search that you are performing. So, what it does, this pruning means it will eliminate the relevant uh, partitions. Uh, the query engine reduces the amount of data that needs to be read from disk, uh, disk leading to the um, improved query performance. Okay, this way this pruning will be very helpful for us. And uh, for example, we have seen, right, uh, we have a partition table based on the transaction date column and uh, we are executing a where clause filtering on a specific date. So, Hive query optimizer it directly goes and uh, identifies the relevant uh, partition and then uh, it reads the data from that particular partition. So because of that what will happen is uh, this optimization minimizes the amount of data that needs to be processed it redu by reducing both uh, disk I/O and memory usage during the query execution. Okay. Now uh, so the same way bucketing in Hive distribute the data into fixed number of buckets that we have already seen. So how exactly uh, the uh, 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 how Hive uh, identifies right? Hive uses a hash function uh, to to be applied for the bucketing columns to determine which bucket this particular row belongs to. Means the based on the hash function it identifies the bucket and it gives you the result. So this hash function evenly distributes the data across the specific number of buckets. And as I said, each bucket is represented by a file in the disk. So when executing query involves bucketed tables, the query optimizer can utilize this bucket pruning. Again, we have discussed about partition pruning, right? Which uh, eliminates the irrelevant partitions. So bucket pruning works similar to this uh, partition pruning but at a more granular level. level. It uh, identifies the relevant buckets based on the query predicates and uh, it only reads the data from those specific buckets further reducing the amount of data processed during query execution. Okay. So on a summary, uh, both partitioning and uh, bucketing in Hive affect the data organization and storage on disk while query execution including memory uses um, it uh, it's about the how the query and data being processed means the query optimizer leverages the techniques like partition pruning bucket pruning to reduce the amount of data accessed uh, during the query execution which actually improves the performance so and we have seen, right, uh, we, we have discussed about the hash uh, code in uh, bucket, right. So, in the partitions, uh, the data is uh, divided into separate directories based on the partition columns. So, here, uh, it, it, did not, it does not involve any extra uh, hashing functionality. So, it directly takes the partition and it will uh, uh, organize the directory structure in partitioning. But whereas in bucketing, it uses uh, one Java's hash code function, okay. Based on that hash code function, um, it distributes the data evenly across the specified number of buckets, okay. So then um, this is about partitioning and bucketing. If you have, this is mainly for answering in interview questions. If you have any more questions on this bucketing and partitioning and mainly the differences between partitioning and bucketing, please message me. Thank you for watching the video friends. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.